Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today with my March TBR. I somehow ended up with a very green TBR. Not entirely, yeah, not on purpose. Um, which is fitting because of, you know, St. Patty's Day. Oh, there's a book not in my stack because I don't have a physical copy of it, so let's do that first before I forget because I will forget. <laughs> and I didn't do my trick of sticking in a placeholder book with a sticky note on it so that I would remember. Widow of Rose House is the Blades and Bodice Rivers book club pick for March. And in, uh, I guess this is an official announcement. <laughs> uh, so sorry if this is not how we were gonna announce it, but Mara and Bethany are officially joining the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club. So this uh, live show will be actually on Mara's channel and uh, the rotation between channels will now be four way instead of two way. So uh, yeah, we'll be talking about the Widow of Rose House on Mara's channel on the last Saturday of the month. So, yeah, <laughs> join us. <laughs> okay, so, and on to the uh, books in this stack now. First, I have The Queen's Gambit uh, by Walter Tevis. Tevis? Tevis? Whatever. I kind of, on a fluke, picked this up because I didn't actually realize that Queen's Gambit, the TV show, was based on a book. And I was, it was like on my watch list, and I was like, oh, I need to watch that. And then before I finally sat down to actually watch it, I found out that it's based on a book. And I was like, oh, I want to read the book first then. Duh. Because I always love comparing them. Yeah, so. I kind of <laughs> unrealistically thought that maybe possibly like if I get through everything on my TBR in February, uh, I can pick this up too. But I am, as of the filming of this video, it is not the end of February yet and I have not anywhere near to finish uh, the books that were on my February TBR. And actually, I mean, not that this isn't quite a hefty TBR, but I put slightly less books on this TBR because I anything that I don't finish before the end of February. I don't know which and how many that will be at this point because I I'd hope to finish at least two more books. One of them is my Blades and Bodice Rivers book club book for February, so I have to read that. <laughs> I hope to, and I'm very, very close to finish with another one and then I'm like some, some of the way through some of the others. So like I, I'm gonna finish a few more, but I don't know which and how many. So whatever I don't finish from February is like unofficially also on my March TBR, like carried on over. So. If you're wondering why this deck is like tiny bit smaller than last month's deck, that's why. So yeah, back to the Queen's Gambit. I mean, you know what this is presumably because the show has kind of been like a big, a big deal. And the, the book sounds promising and usually they only turn like fairly popular, well-received books into shows. It's, it, I mean, I may not always agree that I like a book, but like it's usually because a book has done well or has a following that it gets optioned for, you know, movies and TV. So I have relatively high hopes and I'm at the very least excited, even if I end up hating this book, seeing why maybe like the adaptation like fixed it or improved on it if I if that ends up being the case. So I'm excited about this. Next up I have Assassin's Quest, uh, which is the third and final book in the Farseer trilogy, which I'm buddy reading with Mara from Books Like Well because we are doing our hob journey together more or less. Uh, we read Royal Assassin in January, um, then we gave ourselves a breather to emotionally recuperate, and now we're gonna read Assassin's Quest in March. This is that they keep getting longer. <laughs> like Assassin's Apprentice was like, you know, Assass uh, Royal Assassin was like, eh, and now Assassin's Quest, like so my whole month will just be reading this. I'm just gonna be like crying and reading whole month long, but I am quite excited about this. Hob is just like, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely gobbling up Hob. So I am very much looking forward to the emotional turmoil that I will no doubt be in throughout. <laughs> Next up is another buddy read with Mara and that is Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. I've been meaning to finish the Ark of the Scythe since I started the Ark of the Scythe, which is like two years ago at this point. So again, I may, when I pick this up, discover that I need to reread Scythe. <laughs> I I think I can do it based on what I like like right now like if I think about what happened inside like I think I remember enough um and and if not then I can like look up some spoilery reviews or something like I, I think I'm okay but yeah so Mara and I are gonna buddy read this as well because she also wants to finish the arc of the scythe so why not do it together and before too much time passes I want to finish the truly devious trilogy which concludes with the hand on the wall by Maureen Johnson um, yeah, I read the first two Truly Devious books in 2020. I thought I'd finished the trilogy, but I didn't end up getting around to the third one. So again, like, it's, I'm having a lot of fun reading this, like, YA mystery series that takes place both in the present day at a school and then, like, is the overarching mystery is the mystery of, like, this, like, uh, murder that happened, like, in the 40s, I think it was. 
like something like that. <laughs> So we're like, uh, there's like, you know, dual timeline mysteries and like it's corny and cheesy and a bit cliche and tropey, but I'm having a good time. I like the characters. I like the ambiance of being in this remote school where we're investigating stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I have heard that because I believe that it concluded with this and I think it more or less does, but I've also heard that there's now going to be a fourth book. So like, I guess maybe I'm not finishing this with this book like I thought I was, but in any event, I do want to read it before I forget what happened in the previous two books. The next book I have is also green, <laughs> and that is Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter. I keep like not finding the right time of year to be reading this, but I've just been like feeling this immense siren's call to get back into this series that I, I'm like, I need to like seize on it because like whenever it's not on my TBR, I desperately want to read it. And whenever it is on my TBR, I'm like, ah. <laughs> So right now we've hit this convergence where I have, I'm able to put it on my TBR and I'm feeling like I want to read this. So this is the time it's happening. <laughs> Finally reading this. Next up is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is a lesser known fantasy work by an obscure author. <laughs> I read The Fellowship of the Ring at the beginning of 2020. Um, and like, I can't really see it. Like I need to read the next one before I forget what happened in the first one. <laughs> but I do want to like, keep going with Lord of the Rings. Uh, like, I don't want too much time to pass. Like, I, I want to, like, carry on with my Lord of the Rings journey. So I'm like, yeah, let's let's do this now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Next up is my reread of The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. As you may or may not know, uh, I am rereading all the first law books, one in anticipation of the release of the third and final book in the Age of Madness trilogy, which is also the final book in the world of the first law, like, so far. Like, I do understand that uh, Joe Abercrombie is interested in writing more books in the first law, but as far as like what is currently planned and slated to occur and be written and be published, The Wisdom of Crowds is like the last one that is definitely going to be in the world of the first law. So yeah, I'm rereading everything, uh, not that I need to, but because I want to in anticipation of that. Plus, I never did standalone reviews for all of the first law books. So as I reread them, I'm doing standalone reviews for them. So very much looking forward to this, round three. <laughs> and the last book on my TBR is a new book that, um, I like didn't really it wasn't like an anticipated release I didn't really know about it um until basically until it came out like uh because like you know of course like it made the circuit on Instagram and whatnot and from the cover I actually thought it would be like a Celtic type of story but it's actually a Viking book so naturally your girl ordered it so that's that's kind of all I know about it is that it's a Viking book wait did I even say the name I mean you can see it but it's called The Witch's Heart and it's by Genevieve Gornicek okay well <laughs> yeah so yeah, The Witch's Heart. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you're reading in March. If you're reading any of the same books as me, please join us for reading uh, The Blades and Bodice Rippers Book Club book because it's always more fun if you guys have also read it so you can join us in the live chat during the live show. But I also am always excited to talk about any books that I'm reading with other people. So go ahead and pick these up if you are so inclined or don't, whatever you do you. <laughs> I post videos on Saturdays. Other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.